sabes lo mucho que te quiero, ¿no? ¿Quién coño eres? How do you approach the challenge of playing an iconic character that has been played by two actors before? Like I always do with, with characters, I, I try to gather information and, and uh, of course read the books again. And, uh, but it's, it's not really uncommon to, for an actor to, to step into the characters of, of, that's been played before by others. Mm -hmm. uh, something we do in the theater all the time. That's right. And uh, having a different actor playing a role is always gonna, it's always gonna change it in a way. Mm -hmm. So how is how is your, aside from from being the youngest Blomqvist, how is your version different from the previous iterations of, of the character? Mm, I, I mean, uh, I, I I think it's uh, mostly uh, that it's me that's gonna uh, make it really different. Yeah. And uh, uh, the character is a little bit. Uh, when we come into the story, he his life is a little bit on the downhill. Mm -hmm. He's getting pushed out of his own magazine. And you have uh, Lisbeth Salander showing up, uh, asking him for help, and that kind of reignites him. And 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 they go on together to, to face this big challenge. How was working with Claire Foy and, you know, fleshing out that, your character and your relationship with, with her character? It's great working with Claire Foy. She's a, she's a brilliant actor. She's, uh, she's so good. And, uh, and behind the camera, she's so nice. She makes mm -hmm. everybody feel very welcome on set. So it's a, it's a very good feeling. And um, I read you ate seven meals and did a very intense training to play Bjorn Borg. Any special preparation for this one? Yeah, eight meals. Eight meals, wow. <laughs> no, uh, it, it, it was a different thing with Bjorn Borg because that was a, that was a physical transformation I had to do. So, so a lot of training, a lot of food, a lot of tennis. But this is a different thing. This, this is more uh, getting into the books, getting into the universe, into the... Mm -hmm finding the, 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 the look and the, and the style of Mikael Blomqvist. Can you talk about uh, Fede Álvarez, how I was working with him, the creative process with Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a great director, he's, a, he's very smart, he's very... He has a clear vision, what he's looking for, and he, he gently pushes you in that direction. Mm -hmm. And uh, he... Uh, if you look at the movies he made before, he, he's definitely gonna bring some tension some time into this project. And last question, why do you think uh, people love Nordic crime thrillers so much, especially in Spain? I mean, they're, they're all the rage there. Why do you think people love them? I think it's the combination of, of Scandinavian everyday life uh, combined with, with crime. And I think uh, that's, a, that's a winning concept mm. and uh, something that, that you might think also in, in Spain is very rare. Por qué, Lisbeth? Por qué las arañas no se quedan atrapadas en sus telarañas? Mm.